CJ Flyer back with a fire another YouTube video. So last week LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers won the very first ever NBA in-season tournament championship with LeBron getting the in-season tournament MVP for his outstanding play over the course of the single elimination tournament. And of course it got me thinking, you know, LeBron's been around for 20 plus years and even this late in his career he's he's getting awards and accolades like none other and averaging insane stats for someone of, of his, you know, of his experience and play level, you know, being the oldest player in the league and still averaging 25 points per game is kind of insane. So it got me thinking, there's a lot, there been a lot of great LeBron teams over the past couple decades. Some of them are already in 2K. Some of them we had to go back in and add. And what I decided to do is take the top, what I would consider like the highlighted six NBA teams that he has been a part of. Of course, we have the four championship teams, uh, the one with the Cavs, the one with the Lakers, and the two with the Heat. And then I also added into the mix, you know, the younger LeBron from his first Cleveland uh, appearance, you know, in 2007 when they made the finals and got obliterated by the San Antonio Spurs. And then this most recent Lakers team, of course, the in-season tournament champions. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. Like I said, uh, some of these teams I had to manually edit. So, you know, the 2011-2012 Miami Heat, their very first championship. Uh, you know, LeBron and the, and the rest of the big three, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh. I had to manually put together this roster, you know, Ronnie Turioff. Uh, Norris Cole is not actually in 2K. I guess they don't have the rights to him anymore. So I had to uh, create him, ignore the the randomly generated players and G League players at the bottom. That was just to fill out the roster. But yeah, went ahead, created the 2011-2012 Miami Heat. Of course, uh, you know, we already have the 06-07 Cavs. We have the 2015-2016 Cavs, the 2012-2013 Miami Heat. And then we also have the current day Los Angeles Lakers. So I also had to go ahead and create the bubble Lakers, uh, that 2020 championship team, all of these attributes and everything. I, I manually put these together. So we have 97 overall LeBron James, 94 overall Anthony Davis. Uh, we got Kyle Kuzma, who of course was a key part of that team. Caruso, a key part of that team. Not sure where the headband is. And he looks like a straight up alien that does not look like Alex Caruso in the slightest bit. And actually, if I go into edit player here, uh, I mean, there he looks more like Caruso, but still looks kind of alien-like, not sure what's going on. We got Rondo, we got Danny Green, we got Dwight Howard, uh, JaVale McGee, uh, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Jerry Dudley, J.R. Smith, who was a late addition to the team. Technically, I guess DeMarcus Cousins is here too, but he was not playing for the team uh, during the finals run, he was injured. Uh, we got Markeith Morris, and that is going to round out the roster. So uh, what we're going to do, we took all six teams and we're throwing them into a My NBA simulation. Now, of course, uh, you know, My NBA, the settings, you can customize the league however you want, except that you have to have a minimum of 12 teams. Uh, so what we ended up doing I, this, I had this set, I think this, I have like 16 teams in here or something. Uh, so we have eight teams to each conference if we go into the standings here and you'll see all six of the LeBron teams plus the Charlotte Hornets and the Detroit Pistons. So for the Hornets and Pistons, I actually went in and manually reduced their overalls to the point where any simulation uh, or simulated game against these teams should result in an automatic win. Uh, we'll see how that plays out, but the idea is we're going to we're going to go through the regular season and every one of the teams in these conference they'll play each other once and only once during the regular season uh, so they won't play anyone from the other conference and of course the other conference is filled up with just random teams uh, so we can ignore them so they'll play each other once all the lebron teams and then the top four LeBron team records will make it to the playoffs and they'll square up against each other and we'll see which LeBron team is the best. It'll be a best of seven series. So this is just group play and then we're gonna get into a NBA playoffs format. All right, so the MVP of the group play is the 06-07 LeBron. He's probably carrying that team. 
uh, to get any kind of wins whatsoever. If you all remember, that 07 Cavs team was very weak, not a whole lot of depth, and it was impressive that they even made the finals again, led by none other than LeBron James. Without him, uh, they would have probably at best been like a low playoff seed. So LeBron averaging 39 points per game, six rebounds, eight assists, two and a half steals, 61% from the field, 53% from three. Uh, rookie of the year, we can ignore that. Sixth man of the year is Kyle Kuzma on the Bubble Lakers. And defensive player of the year is, uh, not really sure which Miami Heat team this is, uh, but it is from one of the Miami Heat championship teams. Uh, this LeBron averaging a triple-double with one steal and one block. And you can ignore the rest of that. Oh, Bubble, Bubble LeBron is clutch player of the year. And one of the Heat teams is went undefeated. And they won coach of the year and executive of the year. So there we go. Uh, LeBron getting four out of the five All-NBA first team recognitions. Uh, over on the second team, it looks like the 2011-2012 LeBron and the in-season tournament LeBron getting All-NBA second team. And then All-NBA third team is, is additional players. So let's go ahead. Oh, all defensive first team. Can't forget about that. We got the 2012-2013 Miami Heat LeBron getting on that all defensive first team. All defensive second team. We got the 07 LeBron and we got the 2016 LeBron. All right, let's proceed now. And the four teams that ended up making it. So to my surprise, uh, the 06-07 Cavs team actually made it into the playoffs as the third seed in this conference. And then the teams to fall out were the in-season tournament Los Angeles Lakers with a record of three wins and four losses and the 2011-2012 Miami Heat, which actually I should say three wins, four losses. But if we remove the Hornets and Pistons games, that's actually one win and four loss. And then this Miami Heat team went 0-5 against all of the LeBron teams. That is, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm very shocked that that is how it turned out. Uh, if we go ahead and look at their schedule, the closest game that the 2012 Miami Heat had was against the in-season tournament champs, uh, Los Angeles Lakers team, losing that game by three points. Here I'm showing the, I guess, the in-season tournament side, uh, the Lakers team winning 102 to 99. And if we look at the rest of the games that they played, I mean, it's atrocious. They lost by 25 points to the bubble champion Lakers. They lost by, goodness, what was that, 32 points to the 2012-2013 uh, Heat. They lost by, oh my goodness, look at this. I guess the next closest loss was to the 06-07 Cleveland team by 10 points. And then they lost by 34 to the 2016 Cavs. Uh, I'm shocked. I'm very shocked this is how it played out. Uh, I would not have not expected this 2012 Heat team to fall apart like this, especially against the uh, 06, 07 Cavs, and then to lose this one against the in-season tournament champions. Very unexpected. So as the seeding goes, we have the number one seed, the 2012-2013 Miami Heat LeBron team, the two seed, the Los Angeles Lakers bubble champions from 2020 with only one loss. And if we take a look at their schedule, that loss was against none other than the 2012-2013 Heat, of course, they went undefeated. We got the 06-07 Cavs, who pulled out some incredible wins. Their only losses are, as you would imagine, the, the Bubble Lakers and the 2012-2013 Heat. Uh, some of their wins were pretty close, actually. Yeah, look, look a six-point win, eight-point win, 10-point win. I mean, they had a lot of close wins, so for them to even make it is pretty impressive. We'll see how they fare in the playoffs. And then the 2015-2016 Cavs. Uh, with two wins and three losses against the other LeBron teams. Uh, that includes an eight-point loss to the 06-07 Cavs. They got, was a 16-point loss to the 2012-2013 Heat. They got that huge win against the 2012 Heat. Uh, Five-point loss to the Bubble Lakers. So they had some close losses. So, you know, they, they have a chance, just as good a chance as anyone else here. So there you go. One Miami Heat team, one Lakers team. And two Cavs team, all of the LeBron championship teams made it except for that 2012 Miami Heat team. It's being replaced by that 07 
Cavs team. And to no one's surprise, the Bubble Lakers ended up sweeping the 06-07 Cavs in the first round of this simulation. Of course, you know, LeBron James doing what he does, scoring the ball at will. Uh, but on the other side, I mean, you know, the Cavs just don't have any depth. They don't have anyone. They got Big Z. They got Larry Hughes. Uh, I mean, that's it. That's it. You know, what are you going to do when you're going up against LeBron, Anthony Davis, Kyle Kuzma? Heck, even, even Dwight Howard and Danny Green can have their moments. Rondo, he's a great playmaker. He contributes. Caldwell Pope and Caruso, good defenders and good key players to have on the championship team, as we saw in 2020. So, of course, you know, the Los Angeles Lakers making it look easy. They ended up winning game one by 20 points in LA. Game two, they won by 23 points. Uh, game three, they won by 46, 126 to 80. Just absolutely embarrassing, this 07 Cavs team. And then game four, winning by 19 points. So all double-digit wins. And LeBron, Anthony Davis, just carrying the heavy scoring load and leading the way to make it to the final round of this LeBron team playoffs. Over on the other side of the bracket, of course, we have LeBron James and the 2012-2013 Miami Heat team with Ray Allen, Chris Bosh, uh, Dwayne Wade, you know, and company. Of course, Ray Allen hitting that clutch shot in the corner to save them from losing to the Spurs in six games. Going up against this 2016 Cavs team, the one that was able to take down the 73 regular season wins, Golden State Warriors by far, you know, considered the favorites for winning the finals that year, coming back from that 3-1 deficit to go ahead and take them out. And here they are in a similar situation. Uh, the Miami Heat up 3-0 in the series. We're heading into the final minute of the fourth quarter. And Miami's down by one, 109 to 110. Can Cleveland pull this off and start to make a comeback in the series and win four in a row? All right, so Miami's got the ball down by one. They're inbounding it. Looks like they're going to get to LeBron in the corner, being guarded by the Cleveland LeBron. Puts up a jump shot. Misses. Kevin Love's got the board. Here comes Cleveland LeBron taking it coast to coast, maybe. It's being stopped by Wade. Does a little, little Euro step and gets that one to go. Putting the Cavs up by 3, 112 to 109. There's really only one full shot clock left in this game. Going into the timeout, Miami LeBron's going to have to pull out some kind of miracle here in order to give the Heat the chance to get the sweep in this one. All right, back again. Shane Battier inbounding the ball. LeBron getting it up at the top. Driving in against the other LeBron. Ooh, he gets that beautiful dunk. Driving right by Cleveland Braun. Down by one. They're going to foul right away. And as you know, LeBron's free throw shooting has not always been superb. Yes, he's been able to get it done in the clutch. Uh, but just from a career standpoint, has not been able to make free throws at a very consistent rate. So we'll have to see here if Cleveland LeBron can get it done. Here we go. Warming up a little bit. Got to do the routine. One dribble. And we got ourselves the first free throw to go down. Skipping forward to the next free throw here. LeBron taking the deep breath. The crowd going wild. Can they get a win in this series? And sure enough, makes the second free throw. Miami with one timeout. They're not going to use it. Miami LeBron taking the ball up. Oh, they're now they're going to call their timeout. Shane Battier again to inbound the ball from half court. Miami LeBron coming up past the half court line to get this ball. Here he is being guarded against other LeBron. You'd think they'd go for three, but it looks like they're going to go for two once again. Misses, but gets his own rebound and the putback to score two. Miami LeBron putting in work right now. Kevin Love quickly inbounding the ball to Kyrie Irving, who's going to get fouled by Chalmers and go straight to the free throw line. All right, Uncle Drew putting up first free throw. It is good. And now for the second free throw, putting the Cavs up by three. Again, Miami's, they, they have to go for three here. They just have to, right? No shot clock left. Wade, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They had so much time left on the game clock and Wade's just like, yeah, this is what I do. That's what I do. I don't make threes all the time. I just make them when they matter. And uh, sure enough, it mattered right there. So Cleveland, a little bit of pressure on them now. Tie game with about 7.7 .7 seconds left on the game clock. They need a score here to win it. Otherwise, we will be going into the overtime period. 
coming at the timeout now. It's Tristan Thompson to inbound the ball. LeBron James making the cut. He's going to get it up at the left wing here. He's going to try to drive in against Miami LeBron. No screens, nothing. Miami LeBron locking him up, but he's still able to get the layup to go. 0.6 seconds, and Miami LeBron not able to get the shot. Oh, wait a minute. Did that get off in time? Did that shot get off in time? Hold up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Miami LeBron just made a full court shot. Uh, not sure if that got off before the buzzer or not. We got to see the replay on this. Oh, I don't think he got it off. I don't think. Nope. He still had the ball in his hands. Cleveland gets the win and makes the series 3-1. to one. So again, you know, you might be thinking, why am I getting so excited about this? But Cleveland, this, this Cleveland team has the history of coming back from huge deficits in the finals. So here we are in the playoffs once again against another LeBron team. It could happen. It could surely happen. Let's go forward to game five and see if they're able to pull it off. And like I said, this Cleveland team is dangerous. Here they are up by double digits here late in the fourth quarter. And sure enough, they're going to win this one, 128 to 112. It's now a three to two lead for the Miami Heat. And the pressure is definitely on. Uh, it's getting intense here. A neck and neck game to start game six. And now Cleveland's taking the lead once again. No way. No way the 2016 Cavs pull off something like this again. Here we are late in the fourth, up by double digits. This is going to a game seven. The 2012-2013 Miami Heat potentially blowing a 3-0 lead to the 2015-2016 Cavs. I mean, you, you can't make this up. You can't make this up at all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. No way. Here we go, Cleveland once again, they're going up early. It's, an, it's a close game within single digits here late in the first half. And at halftime here, they're gonna be up by 10, 81 to 71, high scoring game. Uh, Miami is not hanging around. Oh my goodness, no way. Uh-oh, Miami's making the comeback. And I think it, that's gonna be it. Cleveland comes back from a 3-0 deficit to win this one, winning game seven, 144 to 117. Uh, yeah, wow. Let's take a look at these box scores here. What happened Miami? I mean, the big three were getting their buckets, no doubt in that at all. Uh, but take a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers. Kevin Love with 33 points, LeBron with 30 points, seven rebounds, 13 assists, Kyrie with 28 points, J.R. Smith with uh, 22 points. And then Tristan Thompson and Richard Jefferson also making contributions, double digits and scoring. Tristan Thompson with a double-double. I mean, my goodness. And the, look at these shooting percentages. Uh, they just kept making threes. That was the difference maker. They they just made threes. They, they made the similar amount of shots, but the three-pointers were falling. The free throws getting to the foul line. I mean, it, just an insane storyline. Of course, it would be the 2015-2016 Cavs to pull this off. So now we have our LeBron team finals, the bubble championship Los Angeles Lakers versus the 2015-2016 Cleveland Cavaliers. You could make the argument that both these teams have a better benches than the Miami team's benches. That's how this all played out or why it played out this way. Uh, but I'll leave that up to everyone's interpretation watching this video. What do you guys think? Do you agree with this so far? That these would be the best two LeBron teams. The 2020 championship team and the 2016 championship team. Let me know in the comments if you agree with this. Let's go ahead and get this simulation started right off the bat. This Cleveland team is not letting up. They are just, just massacre their opponents. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is... More than a 30-point win, nearly a 40-point win. Uh, LeBron James getting a triple-double in this first game. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box score. Uh, 37 points, 10 rebounds, 14 assists, and you got three other Cavaliers also getting 20-plus points in here. You know what might be an issue, though? Uh, maybe part of the reason the Cavs are doing so well is because I have them set as my current team. Maybe that's the problem. Let's go ahead and change our current team to the eliminated 2012 Miami Heat. Perhaps that will change the simulation because maybe there's some bias because it's my current team. Maybe that's why the Cavs are doing so well. Let's go ahead and simulate game two. And yeah, that might have been it. So far, it's a neck and neck game as you would expect. 
uh, you know, two of the greater LeBron teams up. And there we go. The Los Angeles Lakers winning game two over the 2016 Cavs. LeBron James for the Los Angeles Lakers getting 40 points in this one. Let's go ahead and view the box score now. Uh, 14 to 25 shooting, 7 to 14 from three. And he also had some high rebound and assist numbers. Kuzma helping out with the scoring. And of course, JaVale McGee doing what he does, getting boards. Dwight Howard getting boards. Anthony Davis. Ew, that's an awful game from him. Uh, and I turned injuries off, so he can't use that excuse. He's not injured. <laughs> okay. Uh, and over on the Cavs side, uh, Cavs LeBron getting a near, nearly almost a triple-double. Kyrie with the double-double with 10 assists. Kevin Love with the double-double with 10 rebounds. We get J.R. Smith and Matthew Delvadova contributing. We got Tristan Thompson getting the boards. It's just not enough as the bubble Lakers team making more three-pointers and getting to the line more than the 2016 Cavs. Again, making similar amount of shots overall. Uh, but those two factors definitely playing a key part in the fact that the Lakers won game two. And once again, I need to make sure that the current team is not set to one of the two winners of this game. Let's go ahead now and start simulating the next one here. The Lakers, again, oof, neck and neck going into the halftime. The Cavs do have the lead here. They're now up by about 10 at the end of the third quarter. Going into the fourth quarter now, it is still a 10-point lead for the Cavs. Ooh, it's getting real close. Hold up, hold up. All right, five-point game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue the simulation. And the Cavs end up winning by one point against the Bubble Lakers. Again, LeBron James doing what he does for the Cavs. Uh, going ahead and getting the 46 points here in Game 3. And then 34 points for Bubble Lakers LeBron. Oh, look at that scoring contribution from the rest of the team. Like I said, I think these two teams just have more depth than those other LeBron teams had. Although they probably had more star power. I think the depth as far as the bench... Uh, might be better for these two teams. So, of course, we got Caldwell Pope, Rondo, Danny Green, Anthony Davis, Kuzma, and LeBron all getting double digits and scoring. Incredible performance by the team there. Almost giving up that six-point lead at the end of the game, but nonetheless, they still end up pulling it out. Uh, and yeah, they end up, again, difference maker just seems to be threes and free throws. You know, there's been a huge disparity, although the score's been close. Uh, but when there's a huge difference in those three-pointers and the three-point percentage, you typically see it uh, being played out there. So once again, I'm going to change the current team. We'll go in, start game four. And the Cavs going out, taking an early lead here uh, at the start of game four, up by around six points here, seven points towards the end of the first half, going into the fourth quarter. And the Lakers start making a comeback, take the lead to start the fourth quarter. Now it's kind of neck and neck going back and forth. Who's going to win this one with two minutes left? The uh, Los Angeles Lakers have a five-point lead against the Cavs. We're going to jump into this one and watch the final two minutes play out here. All right, the Cavs have the ball. Uh, is that Jeff Green or Jermichael Green? or what? Who Green who? Who is that that's inbounding the ball? That is Javante Green inbounding the ball. Uh, is he even on the team? Like, is he, is this, is this even a, this is not a real, this guy never even played for the Cavs. That, well, yeah, he never played for the Cavs. He was a player that was added to the roster, but why, why, what is going on here? Why is he, why is he playing? Why is he in the game right now? We must have had some players foul out. Hold on, we got, we have to investigate this really quickly here. Uh, look at the fouls. No, in fact, he's the one with the most fouls on the team. For some reason, uh, the the coach has decided it's, it's time to throw him in. So Javante Green inbounded, Kyrie with the ball, a little bit of a pump fake, getting his own offensive board and the putback, getting the layup, making it a three-point game. There's Anthony Davis inbounding the ball to Bubble Lakers LeBron with the custom Lakers jerseys that we downloaded off of the 2K share. I know they are not the legitimate Lakers jerseys. Uh, nonetheless, here we are. Anthony Davis now handing off to LeBron. We got a nice motion play going in LeBron, getting the baseline slam to put the Lakers back up by five. Here comes Cleveland Braun being guarded by Lakers Braun. What do we got going on here? Uh, looks like we got a floppy play with Kyrie coming off the left side. Now we got an isolation. Braun versus Braun. Who's going to win? Here we go with the post up and off the bank in. The bank is money. 
here late in the game. One minute left to go. Cleveland down by three. Rondo with the ball getting the screen from Dwight Howard. Nothing going there. Of course, they got to get it to LeBron who quickly gets doubled. Passing out. Now we got Anthony Davis on the left wing being guarded by Javante Green, the, the player that never actually played for the Cavs. Ooh, beautiful pick and roll action. But Anthony Davis blows the wide open dunk. And that's going to be a, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt right here. If the Cavs can get a score, Javante Green has no business being in this game. He gets the ball, pass off to Kyrie in the post and missing the contested layup. The defense from Caruso just too much. And right away, the Cavs are going to go ahead and foul. So it looks like they might end up taking the loss here as Lakers LeBron at the free throw line, putting up the first one. And that is going in. Of course, you know it. And here we go. Second free throw, putting it up. And making that one as well. Up by five now. Going into a timeout. Cleveland's last timeout of the game. They're going to have to pull off a miracle if they want to get this one. They're definitely going to have to go for three. I don't see any other option. You see J.R. Smith in there. They got Kevin Love back in. They got the starting five in. Javante Green is out of there. He should have never been in there to begin with. LeBron James now with the ball being guarded by Danny Green. That is a mismatch. He's going to pump fake the three. They are wasting a lot of clock here. They need to do something. Kyrie now with the ball. Passing to LeBron in the post. They see the mismatch. Again, LeBron's not even going into... He's just fumbling the ball. What's going on? Kyrie putting it up and making the three. Um, there's your miracle. There's your prayer answered. Uncle Drew getting it done on the offensive end. And now they're going to have to either get a steal or get a foul here with eight seconds left to put the Lakers to the free throw line and hope that they miss at least one. Uh, if they're even going to have a chance to tie this game to put it into overtime. Anthony Davis inbounding the ball. LeBron James, the Lakers LeBron, being guarded by Kevin Love and quickly getting fouled here. Sending LeBron to the free throw line. Again, they're going to have to be quick and hope that LeBron misses one of these here. He makes the first one. It's looking like the, the bubble Lakers are going to take this one away as he goes ahead and makes the second free throw. Here come the Cavs. No timeouts. They really just need to throw up the, the shot now. Ideally, LeBron with multiple pump fakes for no reason whatsoever. And the Lakers are going to go ahead and win this game. Kyrie leading the way in scoring for the Cleveland team with LeBron James right behind him with 30 points. And then over on the Lakers side, Lakers LeBron getting 46 points. Anthony Davis 27. Danny Green 17. You got a lot of Lakers scoring in double digits. I mean, that's, that is insane. Uh, the Cleveland scoring was very top-heavy, but the Lakers scoring was very spread out amongst the rest of the team. And I don't know why this Javante Green character was in the game. Uh, he was he never played for this team in real life. Again, these are just to fill out the roster, guys at the bottom of the bench. And he somehow got minutes. Not really sure how or why, but he did. And that is just the way it goes sometimes. So, uh now we go ahead and we have the series tied at two walls. So it's now a best of three going into game five. I'm gonna go ahead and start the simulation. And right off the bat, it's a close one, neck and neck, as you would expect, like a lot of these games have been. Cleveland now with the lead going into the third quarter, going to the fourth, it is a tie game again. Back and forth we go. No one's got a clear advantage. Uh, six minutes left, and Cleveland's got a three-point lead. Now down to about three minutes left. Cleveland's got a four-point lead. We'll jump in with under two minutes remaining. Let's go ahead and continue the simulation. And there you go. Cleveland with the three-point lead, just under two minutes. We're going to jump right into game five here and catch the action. And uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, in case y'all couldn't figure it out, I took the current 76ers team and was using team branding to turn them into the Lakers, the bubble Lakers. I had a Lakers court, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Classic 2K, uh, just messing things up as always. So it is what it is. Uh, we're just going to have to power through it uh, and pretend that this is on the Lakers court. Okay, I'm sorry. This is not the Lakers court. Should be the Lakers court. I uh, apologize for that. We're in Wells Fargo Center. Uh, Bubble LeBron going up against the Cleveland LeBron. They're wearing that historic throwback Cleveland uniform. And Javante Green's in the game again. Not sure why Javante Green keeps showing up. But nonetheless, Lakers down by three. LeBron calling ISO. He's making his move. Getting into the paint. Passing out to Anthony Davis who passes out to Rondo with four seconds left on the shot clock now. He's going to have to put up a three. And misses that one. Richard Jefferson with the rebound. Taking it down. 
They need to slow it up. They, they do not need to rush this at all. Kyrie calling for the pick from Tristan Thompson. Uh, LeBron getting his way around that. And now Cavs LeBron guarded by Kuzma. Post fade, step back, getting that one to fall. Cleveland goes up by five. Lakers LeBron now taking it down here in game five. He's looking for a pick potentially. None coming. There we go. Dwight Howard setting the screen. Cavs LeBron not able to get around it. And Lakers LeBron missing the open jump shot. The Cavs, they're able to take this one away here, I think, if they can get one more score. LeBron and LeBron, classic matchup. Getting the screen from Tristan Thompson. Thompson getting it. Rolling to the rim. The foul and one. Getting it to fall. I think it's safe to say the Cavs are going to end up taking this one. Uh, this game five here as Tristan Thompson at the free throw line. Not a great free throw shooter. He misses it. But again, the Cavs are up by seven. So unless the Lakers make a three right here, which it looks like they're just going to go for the quick fast break points. And down by five now. The Cavs inbounding the ball. Kyrie Irving with it. Guarded by Rondo. They can just hold up here. The Lakers should be fouling. And they're really not doing anything. J.R. Smith, of course, with no regards for basketball IQ, they have 15 seconds on the shot clock, and what does he do? He shoots the three, but hey, he makes it, so I guess he can't complain. Here comes LeBron with the step back, not getting it to go. Rondo, they're just playing hot potato with the ball, but Lakers LeBron does get it wide open, top of the three-point line. It's a five-point game. There is still a slim chance they could pull this off, as Cleveland Kyrie is going to be going to the free throw line here after getting fouled by Rondo. First free throw is going to go up and in, going up by six points now with 26 seconds left on the game clock. Free throw number two also going down. So Lakers are going to call timeout. It's pretty unlikely at this point. I, I, I'm I just not seeing it. I'm not seeing the comeback here. Uh, I've seen weirder things happen, but I'm just not seeing it for this one. Down by seven. They're going to have to put up a quick three. So inbounding the ball is Anthony Davis. Caruso getting it handed off to LeBron. He's going to have to put this shot up like immediately. And instead, he's driving in with the layup. The Cleveland Cavaliers are going to give it to him. And so now they're going to get the ball up by five. They're going to have to inbound here. J.R. Smith getting the ball. We got to be a little bit cautious with this because, you know, his late game basketball IQ sometimes a bit diminished and not always making the smart decisions. There you go. Missing the first free throw. The Lakers fouled the right guy. J.R. Smith going up again, making the second free throw. So now it's a six-point game. Uh, again, the Lakers really just need to put up a three-pointer if they're going to have a chance. So LeBron driving down, top of the three-point line, and he's he's just going to drive the ball again, I guess. Uh, down by four now, 12 seconds left. If they can get a steal or something, they're going to inbound to Kyrie. Uh so Kyrie going to the line again. He's clutch. He's a great free throw shooter. Don't really see him missing these. Really surprised the Lakers were not shooting threes. Kyrie makes the first free throw here. Is going to get it back for the second one. And that will be up and in. Lakers just shoot a three. Shoot a three-pointer, LeBron. Shoot it. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Come on. What are you? Okay, pass to Anthony Davis. He's shooting the three. Bricks it. That's going to be it. Cleveland is taking game five. They'll have the 3-2 lead here going into game six uh, in this Wells Fargo Center crowd. I'm going to see if I can fix that for a potential game seven. Lakers LeBron leading the way and scoring for them with 34 points. Anthony Davis right behind at 29. And then on the Cleveland side, uh, Kyrie Irving, 42 points, shooting six of 10 from three. And then Cleveland LeBron getting the double-double, 30 points. Four rebounds and 11 assists. So strangely enough, I went to edit the arena and it it says Crypto.com Arena, but it is not Crypto.com Arena. Uh, I'm not sure why we did not get the floor for the Lakers uh, when I clearly downloaded that. So that must be some kind of a classic 2K glitch, if you will. So let's go ahead and see if we can design the floor. Oh my goodness, we'd have to do all this from scratch. Okay, the Lakers have a legit court now, so if this goes to a game seven, uh, it won't be in, played in Wells Fargo Center. It, it'll be played in, I guess, the bubble arena, if you will. All right, starting the simulation, and once again, Cleveland going up here, but it's neck and neck going back and forth. Who is gonna pull this one? Oh my goodness, Cleveland's up by 20 here late in the third quarter. It looks like they might get the win. The Cavs are slowly giving up their lead, though, uh, but it's not going to be enough. And the 2015-2016 Cleveland Cavaliers end up winning the LeBron Championship. 
Cleveland LeBron, of course, winning the finals MVP with 33 points, eight rebounds, nine assists, two steals, and a block per game, 66% from the field, 70% from the free throw line, and 42% from three. Absolutely incredible performance from him and incredible comeback from the Cavs being down 3-0. And just for the record, because again, I thought that maybe because the Cavs were, you know, our current team on the My NBA settings, that maybe that's why they were favored in the simulation. However, I just set the Bubble Lakers as our current team for simulating this game six, and the Cavs still pulled off an incredible win uh, by double digits. So, Maybe that was the situation, maybe not. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But 2015-2016 Cleveland is your number one LeBron team, followed by the Bubble Lakers, followed by the 2012-2013 Miami Heat. Fourth would be the 06-07 Cavs by some kind of miracle. And then, of course, below that we have the remaining two uh, LeBron teams in the in-season tournament Lakers team and the 2011-2012 Miami Heat. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like and subscribe for more NBA 2K24 content, and I will see you all on the next one. Peace.